Back in Starkville, we get set for the Florida Gators and the Mississippi State Bulldogs in hey. SEC on ESPN, and it's rumbling a little bit a couple minutes ago. Could the dogs bite the Gators? Some coordinator telling me we have got to tackle tonight better than they did against Arkansas, and they've got to create some turnovers. Brad? All right, Aaron. Mississippi State won the toss. They want the football. Sturgis with a kickoff. It'll go to Leon Berry at the five. Berry sneaks up the sideline and got to about the 30-yard line. And that's where Tyson Lee will take over. Often tonight, if at all. Here's Lee in the shotgun, empty backfield. And he throws and completes it. And a nice throw across the 40-yard line. Mississippi State just inside its own 43-yard line. Lee, this one batted up in the air. And it's intercepted. Florida's got it. So there, the stature of the quarterback probably had a lot to do with it. The ball tipped in the air, and Florida's got it. And they tried to cut him. Ball game, third and four. This would be huge for Mississippi State if they could force a field goal after that interception. Here's the throw back out and down on one knee, and that's incomplete anyway. So they did hard attempt. And the kick is going to be wide left. Well, there's a small gift for the Bulldogs. Field now with Dixon. There again, the Bulldogs gave the look as though they were going to go and take their time, look to the sideline. And now they're under 10 on the clock. Decree busts outside. And Decree's got another first down. And this is really a great start. For Five minutes into the game, it's Dr. Lee, quick throw, got it complete. Down to the 26-yard line to O'Neal Wilder. Let's check in with him. Right. So there's the wash that Todd was talking about. Lee, low snap, comes up firing. Incomplete behind his intended receiver. And by 43-yarder here. Trying to give Mississippi State the lead. Kick on the way, and it is perfect. Well, that's in South Carolina. Just put it in one guy's hands and ride it down the field. And here he comes, bulldozing his way out to midfield in a first down. 2017 right there. Now he's wanting to pass, and he'll run instead. And he's got eight more yards. That's what he can do so well. We uh, Tim Tebow's had some problems. Arkansas had six sacks last week. Here's Emmanuel Moody. Nice double move to get to the corner. Whoa, look out, everybody. Happy <laughs> State. Tim Tebow and company try to change it. Down the middle, complete. To his number one target, Riley Cooper. At least his number one target last week. And Cooper's got another first down. Third and goal. Tebow, nowhere to hide. The Bulldog defense is there to drop him, as Todd said, about at the spot that he took the snap back at the 4 and 20. Right in the middle of the field. Basically an extra point, and it's up to tie the game. But, again, Florida's offense. Mississippi State, only 36% of their third down conversions coming in. They're going to try to roll and look out from behind. He got rid of it to Dixon, but Dixon's not going to get a first down. As Janoris Jenkins will back at him. And Cincinnati. I'm not so sure TCU's not the best of that bunch, though. Tebow, the throw is complete. First down out to Deontay Thompson. And he's out of bounds, but he's in Mississippi State. Tip all this year, they've converted half. Fourth and two. Tebow, there's no doubt. Matt head on, but he got it. That's where that 240 pounds comes in handy. With Tim Tebow running. Here it's third down at four. Mississippi State brings up a couple extra men. High snap. Tebow, first down, a bunch more. Heading to the corner. Tebow with a stiff arm. Touchdown. What a run. And he's just tied Herschel Walker in the SEC record books. Well, the best thing that... So for him, his 49th career rushing touchdown. And the extra point is up and good. 
And here in the SEC out of ESPN, it's 10-3. Florida leading Mississippi State. Tyson Lee in the shotgun. Has time. Over the middle. Had to zip it past the umpire's head and intended it for Brandon McCurry. His intangibles are off the charts. And, and you see it every week. Here he is in the empty backfield. Middle screen to Hernandez, the tight end. And he's got a first down. And it'll bring it out across. The team on his back and will them to victory. And he wants the ball in his hands every play. This time he zips it to Cooper, and he's got another first down in Mississippi State. Just outside the 35. Inside handoff, and it's a first down for Moody. And Moody, Chris Rainey in there with Chibo now. He'll get the carry. And Rainey broke through a little crease, almost took it to the end zone. Boy, there was just a sliver of light there, and he was through it in the blink of an eye. Empty backfield. Cooper comes in motion, Tebow looking to the end zone, has Cooper in front of him, and he's going to throw it away. away. Yep. That's good defense. Yes, Three plays in a row, in the red zone. In the left pass. And it's up and good. Another 21-yard field goal. Tacks on to the lead. And utilizing the entire clock before they snap it here. Lee, again rolling left and throwing incomplete, intended for Bumpus, and Ahmad Black. The passing game to Ryan Mallett, playing with a purpose tonight. Now they don't want anything to happen right here with just a minute left in the half. That's, That's for right. sure, and it it is. Is. there's a block punt. Florida blocks the kick, and they've got it at the six-yard line. That's the last thing you yep. wanted to have happen with 65. In the slot. Hernandez on the left side as Tebow's hurried throws, kicked, intercepted in the end zone, coming back the other way. Jonathan Banks, Banks, look out! A hundred yard touchdown! And got burnt. You talk about a dramatic turn of events. Steve Pasquale in for the point after it instead of Florida. 20 to 3 in the ballgame. They've got to be more productive on first down. And they are. And it's Dupree. Still on his feet. To the 25. And this is Dan Mullen. Anticipating one thing Florida loves to do, which is bring the corner blitz to the short side. Florida. Bumpus is the guy on the slot on the left side. Lee is going to draw a play it, though, to Dixon. Now they'll get nothing out of this, but they will get a field goal attempt to try to tie the football game. He passed ball from 31, and he's got it. Tie game. The big play was Lee to do challenge this young Mississippi State secondary a little bit. At least make him make a play on the ball. Tebow does throw it complete on a slant. And Riley Cooper makes. They've been texting back and forth this week. Now they're on opposite sidelines. And here's Tebow again. And a first down run again. And this is looking Saturday night prime time. And it's a 13-13 tie. Tebow. Throws completes, and it's Hernandez who broke a tackle, lost the football, but it's out of bounds. And he's going to have a first down. He was probably watering the flowers. He spent a night in a hoose cow. Here's Tebow. Wow. Unbelievable. And he's all hemmed in for a loss. Well, first of all, just two out of three tonight. 27-yard kick here. And he puts Florida back in front. So the field goal good. Here's Bumpus in motion. And here is Ralph making a big play. Chris Ralph all the way down to the 39 yard line. Just like that, the chance throwing for 213 yards on the year. If he throws here, third and three. He wants to, he won't. 
Yeah, he, he's just not ready for that part of it. I mean, he's got a team. Todd was still playing ball for Joe. In 1980, they beat Alabama. 15 to play. Tebow pulls it down and runs it out near midfield. There's that same read. Tebow. Rolling to throw. He's going to be in trouble again. And he doesn't get rid of it. Finally, he does. And he's got his man, Hernandez, but it's incomplete. Wow. Almost an unbelievable play by Tim Tebow. A third down conversion for the Bulldogs. 0 for 8. Hunter and Stamper combine up. Mississippi State 0 for 8. Now the night. And Hutchins. It's going to be a fake. In the round. He's not going to He fell down. Robert Elliott, fake punt. That didn't work at all. Backfired. It looked carries last week against Arkansas. An eye backfield and Tebow on his center. What have we seen this tonight? Try never. Rainey, touchdown. <laughs> Not a bad choice. Chris. And he missed the extra points. Well, White gets it deep in Iowa territory. Interception by Florida. Penalty markers down as Dustin Joe takes it into the end zone. Again, flags on the field. The ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage. Illegal chip on the offense. Penalty decline. Touchdown. Well, the second. So the extra point by Sturgis. They try to make it 29-13, and it's up and good. Well, that, because time is of the essence. There goes the out, and it's complete. Short of the first down to Wilder. Three. Clock just ticking away. And this one looks like it's going to be a first down run. That'll momentarily stop the clock. Now they shift into the shotgun. Will Dixon get it? Nope, Lee's going to keep it. He's got it. Tough little quarterback. Mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier, had to sell himself. Has some limitations because of his size, but he is a tough guy. And he's done all he can tonight, but four minutes and 15 seconds. All that separates Mississippi State from a disappointing loss to Florida after three really good quarters. Lee going deep, and it's intercepted. Right down at about the two-yard line by Major Wright. Well, I mentioned the corners that get to start basically in their own end zone, though. Tebow drops back, and he's hit as he throws. Intercepted. Are you Look kidding out. me? This will be a touchdown. Guess who? Jonathan Banks for the second time. Decree in the old lead. And around. Bumpus. He wants to throw it. He won't get rid of it. Joe Hayden with another big play defensively. For you know, can get it done. I'm not sure about McElroy yet, and that's why I slipped them down to three. Yep. Here's a little swing pass out to Rainey. Got around the corner. Trying to stay in bounds and can't. Chris White knocked him out. I'll tell you the other player, there was a good chance he wouldn't. And so Stamper's been in there all week as the starting middle linebacker. And Lee goes down. That might end up being the last play of the ball game. Dunlap, unless they call timeout. Dan Mullen has a look up at that scoreboard. The seconds tick away. And he's going to take his headset off and say, well, we'll try it again some other day. So Florida will have a 17-game winning streak as they get ready to go to Jacksonville to take on the Georgia Bulldogs, who had the weekend off to prepare for the number one team in the country. Will they still be number one next week and tomorrow with the BCS standings? Well, they don't hurt themselves. Not overly impressive at times, but 
as two guys that have been together a long time come out to midfield for a handshake.